Fighting American wildfires cost the U.S. Forest Service more than $2 billion last year. The agency had to raid the budgets of forests like the Shawamigan Nicolay to make ends meet. But the unpopular practice called fire borrowing may be about to disappear. Newswatch 12's Ben Meyer has more. It's only April and it's already fire season in the western state. We had 50 foot flames uh, moving at 35 miles an hour. The U.S. Forest Service is helping fight wildfires burning in Colorado and Oklahoma. Nature Conservancy's Matt Dahlman knows it's hard to understand why that matters in Wisconsin. Why does it make a difference over here? Because we don't have catastrophic fires like you see on TV. It matters because the Forest Service takes millions of dollars from projects, like those in the Schwamigan Nicolay National Forest, to fight those fires. If we funnel money away from resources in our backyard, we're not able to maintain the access for people that like to recreate out there or to be able to make a living and, and harvest timber out there. That puts a big pinch on the amount of timber they can put out. Henry Schenebeck of the Great Lakes Timber Professionals Association worries firefighting takes money from projects like setting up timber sales for loggers. Schenebeck and Dahlman both got what they wanted in last month's federal spending bill. Starting in 2020, the Forest Service will have a separate fund for firefighting, leaving national forest accounts alone. We've been fighting for years to stop this so-called fire borrowing. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin voted for the bill and supported the funding fix. Just when key activities need to occur in Wisconsin and the Schwamigan Nicolay, um, they are short-funded and short-staffed. So although fires keep burning out west, Wisconsin's national forests will be protected. It's not a permanent fix, but it sure is step in the right direction. In Rhinelander, Ben Meyer, Newswatch 12. The Shawamigan Nicolay National Forest turned down an interview request for this story. In a statement, it said the Forest Service appreciates the work of Congress to find a fix for wildfire spending.